my church is the sky, always has been. Everything in us, everything we're made of, everything we know in life is was one star stuff. I feel that connection, all the more so when I'm day or night looking through a telescope. William J. McDonald. Uh, he was a Paris, Texas banker uh, who was interested in the sciences and obviously very interested in astronomy. Uh, he left the money to the University of Texas about a million dollars. Uh, and he said he wanted the money to be used for the construction and the operation of a telescope to advance the science and to uh, promote uh, astronomy to the general public. The first telescope which was an 82-inch reflector uh, that went into operation in 1939, 75 years ago. And then in the 1960s, uh, a new director, first from the Astronomy Department at University of Texas, took over in 1963. NASA joined up with him to get the 107-inch telescope constructed and operational within five years. So it would be operational to give ground-based support for the Apollo program. The next major telescope that went up here was uh, went into operation in 1997. That was the Hobby Everly Telescope, which is our multiple mirror, 91 telescopes combined into one signal. It is still our state-of-the-art instrument, currently the fifth largest in the world. When I observe, well, uh, I go back to see my old friends. That's what it's like. It could be planets, star clusters, nebula, galaxies, whatever the season is affording in the night sky. And it's like a revisit each time. I look through eyepieces connected to telescopes, have an idea of how vast everything is, how great it is to be a part of it.